Hi everyone and welcome. In this video, we will see the quick guide on how to add new menu item in the navigation side menu in Fuxa WebScada editor. So if you visit the Fuxa WebScada home and here in the navigation menu, you cannot see any button okay to, to navigate to the other pages so if you want to add the menu here okay then how you can add it so that thing we are going to say in this video so you have to go to the fuxa webscada editor and then after you have to go to the edit project option and then after you have to navigate to the layout okay so now we have to navigate to the navigation side menu as we want to modify the navigation side menu because here we are only seeing the fuxa we are not seeing any other page link to navigate to the other pages okay so we will navigate to the navigation side menu and now we will add one more menu item here okay and i'm going to choose icon randomly so it's a 4g plus leave it as it is the text is we are going to launch the second menu whenever user click on this menu item okay so it's my second view and view we want to open is second view okay so you have to define that here and you have to press okay so whenever user click on this 4g plus icon we are going to open the second view now let me add one more view here and let me select the icon for that okay so it's the alarm icon and this is my cloned view and the view we are going to open is the cloned view and i'm going to press ok here and uh, we are going to press ok and then we will save our project okay now here is the our fuxa scada home i mean dashboard i can refresh it and here you can see second view and the clone view if i go to the second view by clicking on this then you can see the second view page and if you want to go to the clone view then you can see the clone view page we have made changes to the size of this clone view so that is why you can see the clone view like this okay now if you go to the main view then we don't have any option for that so we have to create one so again we have to go to the layout okay in the navigation side menu we have to again add one more button or you can say one more menu item here okay and which is our dashboard or main view main view and view we are going to open is main view okay and we will keep this on the top and we will press ok we will save our project we will go to our fuxascada home and there you go you have the main view so right now we are in the main view you can navigate to the second view using this menu item you can navigate to the clone view using this menu item okay now if you want to go back to the main view then you can click here now you can see every time i have to open this okay the menu bar or you can say the navigation menu so if you want to fix it then how can you do that so you if you want to fix the navigation menu then again you have to go to this uh, edit project you can go to the layout you can go to the navigation side menu and here you can see the side mode is over so whenever you hover your mouse over there you will see the menu but we want to fix it okay so we are going to fix it and then we will press ok then we will save the project and then after we will refresh our page so right now you can see we don't have this free bar here to open the side menu okay so open the navigation menu it is fixed now i can go to the clone view it will not hide i can go to the second view it will not hide i can go to the main view it will not hide okay so this is how you can fix your navigation side menu in the fuxa webscada editor and thereafter you can see the changes in the fuxa webscada dashboard or you can say the home okay so this was the quick guide about how to add new menu item in the navigation side menu in the fuxa webscada editor and then you can see the effect on the fuxa webscada home so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any question or any doubt in this then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp otherwise uh, you can leave a comment on this video also you can email me on my official email okay so we will meet you in the next video and in the next video also we are going to cover some uh, dashboard things so stay tuned for the next video till then take care goodbye thank you